serving burrata, bread, and grilled veggies as appetizers. Our special rigatoni pasta with salsiccia as a main dish. And our beautiful berries and pudding dessert. Let's start with the cold dishes. That way we can store this in the fridge while we prepare the other courses. Using blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Pudding, double cream, strawberry jam, I'm already cookies. And the juice of two clementines. It's super hard to juice it because it's so small. So we get a bit dirty. So we have this juice. For the jam, please buy like a very high quality, like not too much sugars. And we're just gonna mix it too. So you're mixing any berries you would want. Put in first the berries. We'll add the custard. Super fast dessert. Oh, that's the cream. Yeah. Adding the biscuit crumble. So I just crumbled it with my hand and I'm gonna put one right on top. And finito. We have a special berries mix with pudding, cream, and amaretti cookies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my favorite appetizer ever. Every time I go to a restaurant, I order burrata. And the special thing about this one is that it has aroma of tartufo. Hmm, can't wait to eat it. Yes. We're going to need burrata, cherry tomatoes, bread, basil, sweet balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper. We are going to cut the cherry tomatoes in halves and place them around the burrata. Super quick and easy. We top it off with olive oil, sweet balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and a cute basil leaf. Nice. So this is burrata, guys. It's different from mozzarella. Something's cooking here. <laughs> We have roasted veggies with parmesan cheese. We're going to need olive oil, grated parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and for our veggies, eggplant, zucchini, and bell peppers cut in slices. First, preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius while we cut the veggies. And then we spread the veggies on a baking sheet. She cut them like super professionally. We're going to cut the veggies in slices. You don't want the slices to be too thin. About a quarter of an inch is great. It's a simple procedure, guys. However, it's important to stay focused because we want our veggie slices as equal as possible so it all cooks through the same way. For the bell pepper, be sure to remove the entire head. Then tap the pepper against the cutting board to remove the seeds. I like it with a lot of oil, actually. Pepper! Pepper! And so. Be generous, don't be scared. <laughs> Roast the veggies for 15 to 18 minutes, depending on your taste. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna get this out. So we add one layer of vegetables. Then we put some parmigiano on top. And then we add another layer of vegetables and then we put more parmigiano on top. Because that way you get parmigiano in. All the vegetables. Mm -hmm. There we have it. Nice and tender roasted veggies with parmesan cheese. Mmm. Ah, smells like su super rich. Are you ready for the rigatoni with Italian sausage? Stage one, the ingredients for the pasta sauce are. So we have our onions, garlic, chili powder, olive oil, fresh rosemary, 
Power 300 grams of brown mushrooms, salsicha sausage, and the tomato sauce. For the stage two, heavy whipping cream, pepper, salt, mm. a lot of pasta, guys, <laughs> and parmigiano. You are going to need a big pan, medium high heat, and put a little bit of olive oil. So guys, olive oil is basically the key ingredient. We're using it for every dish. We're adding our full onion and our rosemary. We are mixing it until it's like a translucent color. And now we're adding our sausage. We are adding a little bit of chili powder and then stirring gently. I'm reducing the heat a little bit so it's on medium heat and adding mushrooms. So now we're adding our garlic. Um, I have like three cloves. So the reason I add garlic a bit later is because we want it to saute instead of like fry. So I'm actually lowering, lowering my heat to like a low heat right now so it can like cook a little bit. Make sure the meat and the sausage cooks through. So we're leaving on for five minutes. Wow. It smells insane. So when do you know that it's ready for the Basic next step? Basically you see how the mushrooms are like nice and soft and most importantly the meat is like not super brown and pink so now that it's cooked through from the inside we're adding our tomato sauce so this is just canned diced tomatoes it's three cans and we're gonna mix it in and we're going to put it for the highest temperature and have it boil so now i put it on low heat and what you want is now it's super liquidy you want the sauce to thicken a little bit so it's going to simmer and you have to keep on mixing. So for the pasta to cook better and not stick together, we're going to add olive oil and a bit of salt. So we are adding the pasta into our boiling water and stirring gently. And we cook it for seven minutes to get it al dente. This is taking longer than I thought. A good pasta sauce has to cook for a long time, mm -hmm. really. Because then all the flavors get compressed, then the taste is just See, if I was cooking without her, I'd just I'm done here! <laughs> when I came to Berlin the first time, everyone was like, Do you know Dora? Do you know Dora? And I was like, No, like, who is this Dora? <laughs> but I, like, so many people were asking me, and I was like, No, why? Like, why does everyone keep asking? And they were like, You guys are so, so similar, you bond, you get along well. And we actually, they were the first people we met. And on the first night, yeah. went to dinner. I empathize with her a lot because I also moved to a different country for love. <laughs> From LA, used to model in LA as well, yeah. so I just completely sympathize with what she's going through. And for me, it was really hard at the beginning, and I wanted to like protect her, so it's not so hard for her. <laughs> yeah, we both struggled a lot because it's definitely a big, big change. And we both learned German, and we're both. I mean, I already have my driver's driver license. Yeah. She's gonna get it soon. <laughs> so it's like everything was super matched and we have several like same, same interests basically. So yeah, it definitely was a great match and I'm really happy about this. So <laughs> see what cooking does, it just brings people together yeah. more. <laughs> okay, what do you think about the pasta? Do you usually try it? So how so, do you check? So you have to cut it. Cut it in half, and then you have to see like the center. If you oh. see white, it means that it's al dente. Perfect. Al dente. Mm, but it's too hard. Yeah, so you, maybe you don't like it too al dente, just mm -hmm. make it a little bit, maybe like a minute more? Yeah. Just seven minutes first, taste it. If it's too hard for you, do the one more minute that you have to try. Not let it for 15 minutes, that's definitely just gonna be a chewing gum. Yeah. It's ready! So now we're adding the cream and half of the parmesan in there. And we're gonna stir it through. I wish I had a bigger pan right now. <laughs> All the shopping that I'm doing right now is basically for the kitchen. Mm. Okay, so this is done. We're boiling our second batch of pasta now. And we're going to... There it is. It's our husband. Prepare the finalized dishes. Your mouth is watering. So you add the whole sauce into our pasta. Stir this pasta. Let's celebrate. We got the, the pasta, pasta ready. Serving it with 
sauce. We're adding a little basil. We did it! <laughs> we did it! We are done, guys. We finished our three course Italian dinner. Now it's time to enjoy the special Italian night with a nice glass of wine and good company. So, guys. Thank you once again for being here with us. We have finished everything. That was super fun for us. I yeah. hope you also had a lot of fun. Yeah. Remember <laughs> Italy in good spirits. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up Please. so we and will cook again. Yes. And comment below if you have any specific requirements or anything you'd like to watch as well. We love you and stay safe and healthy. Goodbye. Bye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao. <laughs>